This is Pat Gunn, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. I've actually decided to do a quick change of plans. I still am going to eventually go back and get the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller, uh, but first I'm going to take care of the uh, College of Winterhold quests. And I'm doing this because one of the quests that I'm going to get there um, will require me to find some undead. And because I know that there's undead in the tomb of Yurkin Windcaller, I might as well try and knock out both of those objectives at the same time. So I am heading, uh, heading back to Winterhold. And while I'm here, I'm going to pick up something for uh, what's her name in Riften. She keeps on losing uh, keeps on losing stuff that she needs for, I think, alchemy. And so there are three things that you need to grab for when convenient. So we need to grab her ingot, and that's here. There's a few things in other places uh, throughout the game. And we'll just grab them whenever it's convenient to bring them back to her. Now I'm going to continue up to the college. And reforming the dawn god. Okay, and we are back, and I got some more snowberries. Um, trying to remember what spell it was that she needed. I think it was an illusion spell. I've been fear. No matter what Sweet. Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. Cool. So this is what I need to get into the college. Um, so it's worth noting that uh, you can run on ahead of her, but if you do, she won't actually cast this light spell on these... Uh, um, I'm not sure what they are, these magic pools. And they're kind of cool, so... I like just to follow her and take care of that. So the backstory for this town is that apparently at some point in the past there was a an accident and the town which used to be much bigger uh, most of it fell into the sea uh, down there. Oh, I guess she's done. So this uh, the college apparently used to be in the middle of the town and you can see that the walkway to the college suffered some damage over the years but the entire rest of the town that used to be there is now gone. Ooh, some more snowberry. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several of your talented. So this is Savos Aran. He's the um, leader of the uh, College of Winterhold. Allow me to introduce. I am Savos Aran, Archmage of the College of. I am quite. But I do. Are we clear? No. Some risks must. We also must make an effort to avoid worsening with Skyrim. Okay, grab some more berries. Let her finish talking with uh, Ancano, who is later on kind of important to the plot. But actually, almost everyone you'll meet here has uh, some important backstory. You are a guest of the college, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yes. Very good. So he's a high elf. I think I mentioned that the high elves are kind of troublesome. An elf that studies stones. Why don't you head into town and get a drink if there's another new Well, I'll give you a brief tour and then we'll get you to your first. Wonderful. Please so, follow me and don't wander off. Although later on has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. So later on, of course, we're going to be buying homes. But once you get admitted to the college, you actually get uh, kind of a dorm room uh, for free, which is helpful. So the difference, the reason that homes are so important is that ordinarily, like any of the storage in the game, it will eventually be reset, and anything you put in it will just disappear. Uh, in a home, that's not the case, and everything inside of it will stick around pretty much forever. 
so chests, cabinets, it's a good stuff to a uh, good place to put stuff uh, initially. Now, if you happen to be playing a wizard type character, then you'll probably um, you'll probably make this your main home. Uh, so the way that I'm intending to play this character, uh, magic is used, but it's not the biggest concern, and uh, and you can tell that pretty much based on the kind of armor that I'm going to be using. Mages, while they certainly can do well with uh, with armor, uh, generally they tend to prefer robes because they have better enchantments. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. So yeah, this this is what a typical winter hold uh, room looks like. And there's uh, two levels. You can either take uh, you can take the stairs up if you want to be up there. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices. You'll need shortly. And you get a free soul gem and anything else you want to take from uh, from your room. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the hall of the Okay, the let's scoop this stuff up. And, uh, take the line. And eventually, any of the stuff that just happens to be lying out, uh, the college will replace it for you. So apparently it's like you have an allowance of some kind. So go ahead and take anything you're interested in um, here, it will be back. So she's heading out. If you're feeling kind of bold, you can take stuff from other people's rooms, but if, uh, if the owners notice, then they might send, um, bandits or assassins after you. So it's probably not a great idea. Plus, if they actually see you take it, then they might come and beat you up. And by beating you up, generally, at least in the College of Winterhold, that means uh, incinerating you. So it's not a good idea unless you're being very careful. And even then, you should probably save first. Oh yeah, so she, she if you hang around, she'll ask you to uh, head into the main hall. I'm just gonna do it. So he is a um, a trainer in the alteration school. Uh, let's lighten things up a little bit. So this is Jizargo. He is a fellow Kajit, and he's good with destruction. He tends to wear heavy armor. Uh, this is uh, a Berlina. She is a Dunmer, a dark elf. And this is Anmund. He's a, um, I think he's a Nord. Uh, Nord is uh, uh, another one of the uh, races in the game. Let's get started. Enchanting services are one of the few things that keep us in touch with the rest. That's nice. I did not need to hear that. Only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable. Quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Well, your classmates certainly seem to disagree with you. Sorry, guys. Oh, don't listen to her. We can do it. Just give us a chance. All right, let's go down. I suppose we can. I honestly find Josargo's mustache to be pretty uh, hilarious there. You start with wards. Wards are protected spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a war. We'll see if you can successfully use it to block the spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with the demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? That's all right. I can... 
Now, if you just stand right over there. So he just gave me the spell, uh, lesser, uh, lesser ward. Now, if you just over there, please. Just okay. So I need to an equip this spell. It is in the restoration school. And wards, they do improve your armor. Uh, but they're particularly effective at blocking magic. Well, I, think this is an excellent start. I don't tend to use wards um, in the game. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthor nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, the next quest is to go under the ruins of Sarthol. Let's see if we can get that uh, Have you can get that quest from him that we want yet. Ah, this is good, but Gisargo will know them first. It is good to finally be around mages who may be able to keep. Oh yeah. Hopefully, small things that fit inside pockets. There is map. There is skill in magic. There is oh, apparently not. Not yet. But we'll go uh, actually start that other quest then. Another upside is that. I think. Where was it? Sarthal? Yeah, we're heading to Sarthal. Um, another upside to take, getting this quest out of the way quickly is that if we want to, we can pick one of our three fellow appren uh, apprentices to uh, join with us on quests in general. And although I've never done it before, in this game I'm actually going to uh, bring uh, Jizargo with me. It seems thematically appropriate because I am also a Khajiit. And also, I have been reading up about him, and he uh, he actually looks to be one of the more powerful um, followers. Let's make sure I'm heading in the right direction. Oh, well, it looks like I'm going to be looping around to make my way to Sarthal. I have to get around this. Oh, wait. Actually, I think, don't I have? I do. I can fast travel to the Shrine of uh, Azura, and then just head west from there. But yeah, Jusargo is one of the better um, companions to bring with you on quests. Was it west? Yeah, west and slightly north. Uh, and so I'll be bringing him with me throughout uh, much of the game. So companions are great in that they give you considerably more firepower and normally enemies will uh, Enemies will have to try and figure out um, whether they're going to uh, whether they're going to go after you or go after your companion, and if they split themselves, all the better. Okay, and I improved my sneak, and fortunately, we're heading this way anyway. Otherwise, I don't generally like to. Uh, chase rolling corpses down a mountain. That gets old really quickly. Particularly when they end up falling a long ways and you have to very carefully make your way down uh, in order to avoid uh, joining them as corpses. Oh yeah, so this is an area to be very careful. If you make a mistake and fall in, into that pit, you're going to be in over your head if you do it too early in the game. So yeah, do not do that. I did that once and yeah, it was just incredibly uh, incredibly tough uh, at lower levels. Whoa, somebody found me. It is an ice wolf. Hello ice wolf. Oh, 
and the ice wolf is going to try and loop around me. But fortunately, so, and here's that spell that I, I picked up. And you can see that it's a lot quicker to heal yourself up to full health uh, with it. Okay, so where was I? I think I was going over here. So yeah, I'm not nearly as weak against uh, Ice Wolves as I was before. Let's keep on moving. And switch to a bow because hopefully we'll be able to see our foes before they get too near us. Uh, well, this is another one of those instances where we need to make our way down a good ways without without dying from falling too far. Hopefully I can take care of that. Pretty sure it's over here. Yeah. Okay. Um... Let's light, light this place up a little bit more. Can get some more miscellaneous food from the barrels. You can see that they've been bringing up pottery and stuff from the site, which is pretty cool. They're certainly not the um, super careful archaeologists that exist in uh, real life, but they are grabbing stuff down there and um, Currently using them for research, so that's good enough. Well, it's at least good enough for in-game archaeology. This is better than sitting around talking about um, here we all. All right. Please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe, but it's only better to be cautious. This is exciting, isn't it? Yep, sure is. So we will step inside, and we will see our fellow apprentices. Once we get past the loading screen, anyhow. I'm not so sure we should be here. Yeah, the reason he's uh, not thrilled about it is that um, he is of the race that originally uh, built um, built these tombs. He's so he's not entirely thrilled that we're in digging up uh, stuff from his ancestors. I find it hard to believe this excavation was approved. Huh. And I'm not sure why, but I'm getting some pretty serious slowdown right now. So I am going to save the game and uh, use this as a breaking point and see if I can figure out what's going on.